All right, guys. So today we are preparing the base form Kales. Um, both of them are very good, but unlike the Califlos, they are built differently. So the tech one is a support type unit uh, for Kale and Califlo type units and Kaba type units. Uh, the SDR one does additionals. She can hit decently hard. Um, both of them are 55% of the potential system. Uh, both of them do actually get the level 5 free crit. Uh, what else does she do? Oh yeah, the tech one also gets defense. Uh, the STR one does the additionals. Uh, she can, I think she's going to hit, like, significantly harder than the STR one, but the STR one's probably going to defend better. She's more of a support type unit. So, this is another one of those comparisons where we're not going to come out being like, oh, this one's better. It's just, they're built to be used in different situations. Like, this one, if you have LR, Kale, and Khalifa, this is the only one you're going to be using. Because this one gives LR, Kale, and Khalifa 40% attack, 20% defense, and 2 key? No key. Okay, 40% 40% attack, 20% defense, and no key. But, I mean, like, that is still very, very good, especially considering LR, Kale, and Khalifa don't really need key all that much. Um, and this one is, like, probably better for the Legendary Goku event. And the reason I say that is because, like, this one gets a really, really high defensive stat, but she has type disadvantage, and it's like, that could hurt a lot, whereas this one, I mean, she's gonna be really, really good. Uh, so we're gonna lead off with the STR, Kale. Uh, we'll be back in a second on a Universe 16. Alright, so here we are here, um, on this rotation she does have 30% support, and she's going to be doing multiple super attacks, she does raise attack and defense on super attack as well, um, I'm not sure if I showed you her defense, her defense was at 52k here, and she's at 820,000, yeah, see like, her first turn attack stat is going to be significantly higher than we're ever going to see Tech Khalifa's attack stat, uh, but that's not really what she's known for, oh, three supers? Oh, I forgot that's how she worked, so she gets an additional super, if the enemy is Universal Survival Saga, and she gets another additional super if they're a pure Saiyan. So this is going to be the only stage where she gets three super attacks, up until STR UI Goku. Um, so that is something that I did actually forget. I was like, how did she do a third super attack? She's 55%. <laughs> but okay, that was, that was actually pretty surprising. So, next time we see her, I think it's going to be the same amount of support that we had this time, but the turn after that, we're going to have double support. And then after that, I'm going I'm going to want to see her with no support. Alright, so here we're definitely going to float off Champa. And I... Even though he has type advantage here, and this is like the second stage, I don't trust Hit. Hit's defense is just so bad. Yeah, 48k. And the thing is, like, Khalifa's defense might not have been that much higher, but she has, gr like, greatly raised defense on super attack, and she has a good chance of dodging. So she's just, like, significantly better than Hit at taking, like, damage and stuff. I was going to say taking hits, but I didn't want to say hit that many times. But taking damage, saying she's better at taking damage is not what I'm... I'm not sure if that implies what I mean for it to. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay, that was a good amount of damage. Okay, hit. Did both hits additional? I didn't think my hit had dupes. Does my hit have dupes? Hold up. <laughs> is my life a lie? Was that my hit? Because I think the hit last turned additional too, and hit does not have additionals from his passive. I am so confused. Did the hit last turn not additional? Am I dreaming that? Hold up. Okay. My hit. My hit has a dupe? What the? I had no idea that my hit had a dupe. Uh, so her defense went up 30k in one turn. So that means just about every single time she super attacks, she's going to be getting an extra uh, 10k defense. Which, I mean, if you're getting double, triple super attacks quite often, I mean... That's pretty, like, last rotation, remember, if we were, like, if she had dupes, she could have gotten four super attacks there. That is, like, insane. Okay, hopefully this, Kale finishes this off, because otherwise, like, she might take a little bit of damage. And this Goku hasn't supered yet. Okay, good. Okay, so next rotation is going to be really, really good. Uh, we got the double support. And what's your defense just without anything? Alright, without her passive and without support, she's at 50k defense, which isn't great, but also, like, that is with literally nothing. I'm going to use a King Yama here, because I don't trust the hits, and if Khalifa doesn't dodge here, she does have type disadvantage, so she could get hit pretty hard, too. Alright, you want to dodge? No, but she's taking double digits with the King Yama, so we're all good. Boop! <clears throat> See, I wish the... The Kale and Khalifa units had more categories, because both of them only have four categories, and I mean, like, I don't really use any of them that often. B 
because like I would really like to use this STR Kale more often like from what I've seen so far she just looks like a really fun unit to use but like there's nowhere that I really can use her because I don't run the pure Saiyans team I don't run Universal Survival Saga or Universe 6 and then like Peppy Gals while it is a like real team it's not a real team you know like that's weird all right so 126,000 defense here uh let's let's see what her attack stat gets up to she's definitely gonna be like i don't know yeah she's over 1.1 million here with her double will she be over 1.2 no 1.18 and she will not get the triple super here um so we saw her with double support i do want to see her with no support though so that's gonna take a few turns just to get all the support vacated off of this rotation okay that's i mean for type advantage that's a significant amount of defense do i have her rainbow I actually don't know if I have that in Kale Rainbow. I feel like most people know more about their own box than I do. Okay, yeah, she... I don't even have her dupe pads unlocked. What the heck? She must have... Oh, yeah, she did come out a while ago. The reason I said she must have came out a while ago is because it's been a long time since a free-to-play units came out, and I haven't unlocked all of their pads, even if I didn't rainbow them right away. Okay, there's the Khalifa. Like... The base form Kale and Khalifa units, can you imagine how broken they would be if they got Dokkan Awakens? And that's for both the World Tournament ones and the Summonable ones. Just both of them are so good and they're just level 100 SSRs. So like if they got Dokkan Awakens, like they got more attack, more defense, whatever. And like obviously they'd still be raising their attack and defense infinitely. I mean like they would be really, really gross. Oh gosh, hit gets like... I almost said hit gets hit so hard, but I... I wanted to stop myself there. Uh, she gets extra attack links there. Okay, whatever. I need... I'm going to take this turn. I, I don't trust hit at all. I almost said I don't trust hit one bit. But, I mean... You know... <laughs> I, I tried to stop myself and I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to say that. Alright, hit. Please don't like additional super. Because I just learned you have dupes. And I would really like to have Kale get some super attacks off. Just so that she can continue to get stronger and stronger. Okay, no crit, perfect, and no additional. Okay, so she's over a million here, uh, just with the one support type unit. And then she's over 1.1. I wonder if she's going to be over a million with no support? I guess we'll see. What attack link is she missing? What attack link did she have with the Kale? Because it wasn't like Berserk or anything, because one only Berserk Kale has that link. And two... Man, next rotation we're going to have double hit, so she's going to have no links active. So that's going to be like her lowest attack stat. Because... I mean, no links active, as well as no support. Like, sometimes I do those rotations where it's like, here they have 80% support, but there's no, like, links active. But, I mean, next rotation, there's going to be no support, no links active. That's just going to be a very, very low number, I think. I don't think she's going to be over a million here at all. I think, like, 800k would almost be, like, surprisingly high. What's her defense here? 123k without support is actually pretty good. She is still probably going to take damage from normals. Uh, she's definitely not going to after she supers twice, but after, like, this first attack. Okay, no, she she didn't. Okay. And she's almost at a million here. If she would have got three super attacks here. Ah, actually, no. But, so she is very, very good. Um, so we're gonna swap her out with the tech kale. We'll be back in a second. How much damage is she gonna take there? 146k from type disadvantage is actually not bad at all. Um, but we'll be back in a second on this pretty much exact same team. Uh, just with tech kale, you know, supporting everybody. Uh, see you there. Alright, so here we are, um, on this rotation, she is getting no extra support, let's check her defense here actually, 61k, because she does raise attack and defense on super attack, um, and here she would double super, and I think she still probably will, but it, her first attack would have to not kill Goku, which I don't think it will, because, I mean, she hits very lightly, especially, like, if there's no other support on rotation here, yeah, 387k, because uh, pretty much the only attack she's getting is the 40% that, like, everyone is getting from her support, and then there's also, uh, she is getting 120% defense, uh, because there's a Khalifa on rotation. Uh, and then I think that's also, like, why she additional supered there. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but next rotation, we are going to, ugh, hit? If hit dies here, whatever. Uh, but next rotation, we're going to have Chomp on rotation, the 40% support cat. Um, and we're just going to see how much that buffs her, because last rotation she peaked at like 400k on her additional super, because that did raise her attack a little bit. Um, so let's just see how much better that gets. And then the turn after that, uh, we are going to have Kale on rotation with Kale. Uh, 
just seeing like how much because I think they're uh, the kale the Super Saiyan kale is going to be activating some links which would be nice oh this isn't gonna kill us though yeah type advantage Whew. Yeah, that's nice uh, and also I guess they were getting some defensive support from this kale as well okay I'm gonna leave her in the middle even though she would be very good defensively I'm gonna leave her in the middle just for linking purposes and then her defense here is it 99k Okay, I almost said her defense stack goes really fast, and then I realized she has an extra 40% defensive support here. That's why her defense is so high. Um, okay, so here her attack stat is up to 536k. It did go up a pretty good amount. And remember, we shouldn't really be comparing them directly, just as far as damage output goes, just their attack stats. Because remember, like, the STR Kale, while she is really good, um, she's not going to be providing the extra attack and defense to the whole rotation like this Kale is. I mean, like, this Kale isn't a great support type unit if you're not, like, a Kale, Khalifla, or Kabe. Because then, like, if you're only a Universe 6 category ally, uh, you only get 20% uh, attack and 10% defense. And if you're only a Pierce Saiyan ally, you only get 20% attack and 10% defense. Uh, but if you can activate both of those, then, like, her support type buff, 40% attack, 20% defense, is actually very, very good. Especially considering she is a free-to-play unit who does stack attack and defense as well. Um, she's definitely really good, it's just, like, I can tell you right now, next rotation, her attack stat is gonna be, like, what, 700k? I mean, we'll, we'll see. So, we can put her... Yeah, we can put her in the front here. Here, her defensive stat is 86k. Alright, so, oh, her defensive stat went down, because there's no longer a Khalifa on her rotation, and she's not getting that 120% defensive buff uh, that she would've been getting. Which also means here, she's not gonna be getting an additional super. So if you're not running this one with a Khalifla, there's really, like... Oh, I almost said there's no reason to run her, but, like, there's really no reason to run her. Because Khalifla, Kale, and Kaba. I know I've said this a lot, but they're the only real units who, like, benefit from this support side buff. And because she gets so much better when she's next to a Khalifla, like, you should pretty much just do that. Like, this support type unit, if you have LR Kale and Khalifla, she's a god for them. Like, just giving all of that attack and defense... As well as, like, them, because Khalifa is in the name. Khalifa just has to be in the name. The, like, character doesn't have to be Khalifa. But, like, this Kale's really good. The SDR Kale, probably, like, usable more often. Like, especially if you're just taking them on, like, a pure Saiyan team or Universal universal Survival Saga team. Uh, but if you're building specifically a Universe 6 team, uh, then this Kale might be the better option. It really does just depend on what you want, because there are some people who still don't like support type units. I don't really get it, but I mean, like, you know, to each their own. Uh, but anyways, guys, let me know how you feel about Tech, tech Kale and STR Kale. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider to leave a like, a comment, subscribing to the channel. My name has been Blackhawk, and I'll see you guys next time.